Hey everyone, Dylan here. So today's video is going to be an introduction to playing slide guitar in standard tuning. And as you can see by the title, this is part one of two videos because in my opinion, you can boil down standard tuning slide playing to two fundamental approaches. One, replicating classic open tuning licks in standard. And two, playing non-traditional phrases and licks and lines that are, I guess, native to standard tuning that, you know, in other words, that you wouldn't typically play in an open tuning in a classic blues context. And I use both of these approaches extensively in my own playing, and I'm going to show you guys how to get started in both of these things between these two videos, but for now, we're just gonna start with replicating classic open tuning licks in standard tuning. Now, I'm going to assume that you already know the very basics of slide if you're watching this video. So if this is your first time picking up a slide, then I would recommend clicking out of this video and going and watching my previous tutorial video, Slide Guitar 101, Basics and Where to Start, before watching this one. How it's gonna work is I'm going to first show you guys how to sort of translate the minor pentatonic scale shape from open E to standard in a way that makes sense for playing slide. I'm going to show you a few classic open tuning licks and then how to play them in standard. And I'm gonna recommend a few solos for you guys to check out. So here we go. All right, so I have my Gibson SG here and this is tuned to open E right now. And if you guys remember from the slide 101 basics and where to start video, the sort of minor pentatonic blue scale box in open tuning, open E or open D, looks like this. So we're again in open E, so we're going to be in the key of E here. And if you remember from the video, or if you're already an open tuning slide player yourself, then you'll know that the majority of those classic open tuning blues licks can be played in just a two fret box, depending on what key you're in. Aside from this minor third down here on this string, which you have to jump down a couple frets to get to, but the vast majority of those That kind of stuff, you can just play it all just in those two frets. I mean, you know, you can go outside of that a little bit, like, but it's mostly just right there. And in order to get that sound in standard tuning, you have to kind of translate that minor pentatonic box shape from open E over to standard tuning. So this guitar is tuned to standard, and keeping in mind that to get from standard tuning to open E, we have to tune our A and D strings up a whole step, and then our G up a half step. To play that same scale shape and get those same intervals on the same strings that we did in open tuning, we have to play everything two frets higher on the A and D strings, and then we have to play everything one fret higher on the G. So what that looks like is, if you're confused, what that looks like is this. So what that is, is a literal translation of that open E minor pentatonic scale shape into standard tuning. And you have to be familiar with this in order to be able to authentically replicate those open tuning licks in standard because while you can certainly play the regular minor pentatonic shape with a slide, you can go. It's almost impossible to get that open tuning sound using that shape, as opposed to this shape. So you could almost probably hear it a little bit there on that descending part. The that sounds a lot more like open tuning than, right? So once again, that scale shape looks like this. So now that we know this kind of alternative shape of the minor pentatonic scale, the next step is just to really familiarize yourself with it, learn it in every key up and down the neck, and just kind of start training your brain to look at the neck in this different way because it might throw you off a little bit at first because like I said, everyone's used to playing the, you know, your usual. 
so you know just try it in all different keys like say we were in b flat you would go we're in c sharp we'd go all right so now i think we're ready to look at a few classic open tuning licks and learn how to play them in standard tuning so we're back in open E, and just like my slide 101 video, we're going to start with the first lick that everyone should learn on slide, just the most iconic quintessential slide lick, which is... And slowly... And now in standard. So... We are going to start on the B string 12th fret, same thing as an open E, and slide down two frets. Then now we're going to jump up to the G string 12th fret, slide up a half step, and then go up one more half step to the 14th fret D string. In order to get it to sound like open tuning, it's really important that when you hit that G, you slide up that half step a little bit because that is just characteristic of that open E sound. If you're playing that in open tuning, you just kind of naturally slide up to that major third there. So you have to slide up to that major third and then mute the G and then jump up to that D string 14th fret. So again, that's gonna be like So that's the kind of literal translation version of it, using that you know minor pentatonic box that I just showed you. There is another way you can do licks like that, though, that um, can make it sound a little bit more open tuning-y if you want the major triad to ring out like it does in open tuning. And in order to do that, you're going to start the same way, starting on the B string 12th fret, before you're in the key of E, and slide down two frets then jump down two more frets and you're gonna hit this minor third or the G note here instead of up here. So you know, same note. So you're gonna hit it down here on the B string instead of up here on the G. And then slide up that half step and then your root is right there on that same fret on the G. Which can give it more of an open tuning sound if you want the strings to ring together like that as that major third. So. That sounds like this. I don't use this one as much. It doesn't feel as natural to me to go down like that when I'm trying to get that open tuning sound. I tend to use this one more often, the first one I showed you. So our next open tuning lick is going to be this. Slower, that sounds like. So again, the key to getting that lick to sound like it's in open tuning when you're in standard is to make sure that you're really hitting that major third in there. So in the key of E, that would be that G sharp note. Because of the scale shape that we're using here, especially if you're already an open tuning player, then your instinct is gonna be to jump between the G string 12th fret and the B string 10th fret, which will sound more like But that doesn't sound like open tuning because when you do that lick in open, what you're really doing, again, is you're really more hitting that major third more so than the minor third. So you kind of have to jump up one fret higher than you normally would on this G here. So you're gonna go up to that G sharp on the 13th fret. So yeah, basically you're bouncing between the kind of sort of loosely the 13th fret on the G string and then the 10th fret on the B string. So instead of this, it's more like, or really more like. So what that looks and sounds like in standard is, so you can see I'm kind of going. And then for the last part of that lick, you're going to go up to the 14th fret on the D and A strings here and go do that. So those notes are E, D, B, and then kind of back to the D and sliding up to that E. So. So the whole thing is, 
slower, that would be. So for those licks where you're jumping around a lot like that, and I mean, honestly, any of these open tuning style licks in standard, it's gonna take a while for them to not sound sloppy. It can be difficult, especially if you're used to open E. You have to really make sure that your right hand muting is really strong because if even more so than in open tuning, if you're letting those strings kind of blend together, then it'll start to sound really warbly and sloppy. So, I mean, it, it'll kind of be like. In open tuning, if you do that, at least you're kind of, you know, playing a chord when you land on something. But with this, it's just kind of, kind of muddled. So make sure your right hand muting is really strong and just keep throwing yourself at this until it, you know, starts to sound decent. All right, so here's the last lick I'll show you for this video. Slowly, that is. And now in standard, that looks like this. Slowly, that would be. So once again, we are heavily relying on sliding up to that G sharp or that major third in the key of E, rather than just strictly playing a straight up minor pentatonic scale because that's a very common feature of blues in general, but especially open tuning slide blues is you're never just strictly playing You know, even though that's the scale that I showed you and that's what everything is kind of based around You're never really just sticking strictly to that minor tonality. It's kind of a mixture of major and minor So anyway to break that lick down, we are starting on the E string 12th fret sliding down two frets Jumping up to the B string 12th fret, and again, kind of like the previous lick, we're jumping back to this E string 10th fret, which is a D note, and then sliding up to the root of an E. So it looks like... So that's the first part. Then we're going to hit the G 12th fret, slide up to that major third again, and then jump back to the B string 12th fret, which sounds like this. Then back to the G string 13th fret. Slide it back down to that minor third of the G natural on the 12th fret there. It can sound good if you slide past the 12th fret a little bit, like a little bit lower than the 12th fret. So you're not literally going. It's like. Gives it a little bit more of that major kind of sound. Then jump up to your root note, D string 14th fret. And then the very last part is to jump back to the G string 12th fret. Again, slide it up a half step and then jump down to the A string 14th fret. So, so the whole thing is. So hopefully all of that makes sense <laughs> and isn't confusing to you guys. Hopefully you can get something out of that and hopefully that will help you guys get started in translating these licks to standard tuning on your own. So a few solos that you guys should check out to start implementing this in standard tuning would be, again, just like my last video, Elmore James, Dust My Broom, and The Sky Is Crying. Those are both nice and slow, kind of simple ones. At least the, the solo part, the kind of... That whole thing is kind of tricky to pull off in standard, but at least you can work on the solo at the end of Dust My Broom. The you can also check out Taj Mahal's version of Statesboro Blues, which is the one that inspired Dwayne Allman and the Allman Brothers to cover that song. Jesse Ed Davis's slide playing on that is amazing, and it's a little bit simpler and not as wild and crazy as Dwayne's, so if you're a little bit intimidated by trying to learn the Dwayne stuff in standard, then that could be a good place to start. But if you are looking for a challenge, then you can, of course, just jump straight into the Almond Brothers stuff, particularly the Phil Maurice tunes where he plays slide, uh, which would be Statesboro Blues and Done Somebody Wrong if you're looking at the just original seven song release of at Phil Maurice. If you're looking at the deluxe edition, then um, that would also include Don't Keep Me Wondering and uh, One Way Out as well. So all of that classic stuff. Now, I can't make a standard tuning slide video without mentioning two of the absolute 
legends of it, Warren Haynes and Jack Pearson. They are both incredible at replicating that open tuning sound, especially Jack Pearson. When he's playing slide and standard, I mean, he does do some stuff outside of just the open tuning sound type thing, but it's almost indistinguishable. Like it, it sounds like he is in open E, but he is in standard tuning. A solo of his that I heard back when I was still an open tuning player that really blew my mind is Greg Allman, All My Friends concert where um, Taj Mahal sits in on Statesboro Blues. That's Jack Pearson on slide and he's in standard tuning. And when I heard that for the first time, that was one of the things that made me realize like, wow, that's actually, this is kind of like, this is possible. You can make it sound like open tuning in standard if you're, if you're badass enough like Jack Pearson is. Definitely check out that solo. I'll, uh, I'll put the YouTube link to that in the description. For Warren Haynes, honestly, there's a million recordings out there of him, but uh, a specific one that you can check out is Statesboro Blues from the album Play All Night, live at the Beacon Theater, 1992. He's playing slide on that, and they do this whole like long freeform intro thing, but once they get going, that is uh, another fantastic one you can check out. And I'll try and find a link to that and uh, put it in the description as well. So I think that about does it for today's video. Like I said, this is just part one of two videos I'm gonna do about this. The next one will be getting more into non-traditional uh, standard tuning slide. So we're not gonna be trying to replicate anything. This is just gonna be trying to find new ways to approach standard tuning with the slide. So I'm gonna try and get that out to you guys as soon as possible. Um, I think it'll be a little bit easier to teach than this video, just because we're gonna be staying in standard tuning, we're not gonna be jumping around between open E and standard. There's nothing to translate, it's literally just showing you guys concepts in this tuning and just different ways to approach slide and standard. But if you wanna support the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe, and go check out my other videos. Uh, that'll help me out a lot. Aside from that, have a good one and keep sliding.